There's no place like home, right, Rob? Well, the Greater Omaha Chamber is pushing this new Thanksgiving initiative to encourage those young Omaha natives who are back in town this weekend to become boomerangs and stick around for good. Items, um Home for the holidays has new meaning this year for clothes designer Abby Gross. But it really just came down to family for me and being close to my loved ones. Gross moved to Los Angeles six years ago right after graduating from UNL. Even though she landed a great job, she says something was missing. I always was kind of like searching for something in L.A. that I almost like a feeling that I couldn't get. And it's probably part you know, the sense of community and also just, you know, missing home. It's that feeling the Greater Omaha Chamber is banking on to bring young professionals back home, touting Omaha's low cost of living and high quality of life, calling it the boomerang effect. Cost of living is 10.5% lower than the national average, a short commute with an average of 20 minutes, access to arts and culture. But some say diversity is missing. The opportunities are here. It's a great place to live. Um, but I think, you know, there's, there's work to do. Bianca Harley moved back home, too, after living in D.C. for five years. She acknowledges it's tough to keep young African Americans in Omaha. We need more of us here, you know, so that um, we have that diversity here, the diversity of thought and ideas. And, you know, we're not the only ones. As UNO's career and development director, Harley says the opportunities are abundant in Omaha for everyone. The Good Life sweatshirt, that was a big seller for me. Gross created her own opportunities, starting a clothing company showcasing Nebraska. As cliche as it sounds, home is where the heart is, but you know, I'm grateful that home can be where my dream career can be as well. So the Greater Omaha Chamber hopes by reaching out to the young professionals to return home, this Thanksgiving initiative will offset a projective shortage of workers in about 10 years in industries like healthcare, construction, technology, and finance. Back to you.